Hello everyone, I am going to uh, give a simple introduction of bridge design on Start Pro. So let's see how to design a bridge on Start Pro. Here I have an example of an arc bridge. So it is a 350 meter bridge and the arch span is a 180 meter and height of the column is 60 meter and the top height is just 229.970 meter okay so here it is the model of the base so, so first of all you prepare the model then now let's see the property so here i have given the property so first property is a square shape i just check it is a square shape tapered tube uh, d1 value is 3 meter d2 is 3 meter again and the thickness of this is uh, 0.4 meter next i have used a circular section for the cables so it is a, a 1 meter next again a square tape is tapered view uh, for different thickness so d1 is 3 meter d2 is 3 meter again and thickness is 0.43 next is Taper tube is square again, D1 is 1.74, D2 again 1.74 and thickness is 0 0.02 meter. Code I have provided. Next, a load and definition. So, uh, in, let's check the definition. So, I have provided uh, rail engine load according to the Indian specifications. So, here is a rail engine load. I have mentioned 6 axles here. So now you can see 185 kN I have divided uh, in, uh, the whole load of the engine into the 6 part Now after entering this Next is wind definition So I have defined the wind load here So here is the intensity Next is exposure I have taken as 0.1 means 100% uh, Now next Seismic definition I have given according to the zone number Here you can see all the zones 0.16 value it is according to the zone number 3 and here is the importance factor rock soil factor I have provided the next I have provided only the self weight because uh, the uh, vector load is already uh, included in vector definition so you do not need to provide any other load just provide the self weight here and uh, next in the load case detail I have defined a uh, uh, seismic load in x direction, seismic load in z direction, then in a negative x direction, then in negative z direction, then again next wind load in x direction, wind load in minus x direction, and wind load in z again, and wind load in minus z. Now, next is what dead load. So, let's check it. So, I have provided the dead load as self weight. You can see, so it is number of load generated is 50, predefined load is, is added, none. Now you can see next uh, load generation type, type 1 it is x coordinate 19 and y coordinate 10. Now z incremented 5 meters. So at each 5 meter distance I have generated a static load. Now you can see here are, here are the number of generated loads. Now let's see the uh, 3D geometry of it. Now here you can see in the 3D render view. Here it is. Now if you analyze it. Okay, after the analysis, let's check the results. So here is the beam results. So now you can uh, check unity check. So it is must that allowable ratio it is one, and it is must here that actual ratio should be uh, less than this allowable ratio. So now you can see all the ratios are less than one, and now you can see the graph here. So for the steel structure, unity check is must. Again, I, I want to repeat as uh, uh, actual ratio must be uh, less than allowable ratio. If it is okay, then your structure design is okay. So